Good morning everybody. I thought I would do a little Death Star Bath Ballistic slash Metamorphosis Bath Ballistic update because I've been saving this little beauty for a day when I've not been feeling particularly good. I've been a bit low in mood of late and I thought I would choose today to use my very special bath ballistic. This chappy came from the Oxford Street Lush in London. He is an exclusive which means I'm not going to be able to get another one for ages. And in my opinion, he looks like the Death Star. So we think he's awesome. He also smells absolutely amazing. Um, for the ingredients of this bath ballistic, please see my video on the Lush exclusives because I can't remember off the top of my head what's in him, but, oh, having a sniff, hang on. Smells amazing. Um, just a really unusual scent, quite earthy, quite spicy. We really like him, but I couldn't resist making a little video because I am very intrigued to see what happens when I put him in the bath. So, please excuse the shaky camera. It is handheld. So, here we go. This is the Metamorphosis Bath Ballistic going in the bath. Let's see what happens. I've got a feeling this bath water is probably going to go black. But, I could be wrong, it's kind of more silver. So he may not be the prettiest colour, but believe me, he is well worth it for the smell. The smell is just epic. Smells like, oh, I don't know. I don't know what he smells of, but he smells really, really good. And there's lots of glitter in him as well. So I'm gonna have a nice sparkly bath. If you can see bits of red floating around in the bath, this is a leftover from Lava Lamp. <laughs> it's got little red hearts in it that are like the kind of bath melty. Um, kind of style. So yes, that was a little bit left over from the bath I had the other day. <laughs> but as you can see, Mr. Metamorphosis is pretty fizzy. And my bath water's kind of gone grey. But it's really pretty. I quite like this. Quite artistic. It's a kind of a grey and white effect. But um, yeah, really quite looking forward to uh, getting in the bath with this little fella. There's also kind of a pinkish edge to him. Oh, he's pink in the middle, I think and maybe yellow. This might be why he's called Metamorphosis, because he changes colour. Aha! Uh -huh. So I don't know if you can see, but we've got a kind of pink rim occurring and a bit of yellow going on, which is really quite pretty. So I'm quite pleased with him. This is a shame. This means I need to go back to London to get another one. <laughs> oh, the excuses to go to London. Um, not that I really need any. <laughs> So yeah, I just wanted to share that with you because obviously he is an exclusive and there probably aren't that many people who have done videos on this particular bath bomb. But uh, hang on, my alarm's just gone off on my phone. How inconvenient. Go away, alarm. But also today, I am going to be using, oop, finger. I can hold this camera honest. This little fella. This is the Lullaby Shampoo Bar. Sorry, I just had to show you that. Oh, it smells so good. And how pretty is the end of this bath ballistic? I'm really glad I filmed this all the way to the end. That's just so pretty. So pink, yellow and green going on now. Starts off black and kind of murky and then goes really pretty towards the end. So yeah, that's pretty awesome Lush. I like that. I want to go and buy a lot more of these now. <laughs> hmm. So yeah, that's the Metamorphosis Bath Ballistic. Um, as I said, he's completely vegan, uh, cruelty free, all of that good stuff. And he's really, really pretty and quite unique. I've never had one that does this before. Starts off one color and then ends up a completely different one. So quite impressed with that. Really glad I bought him. It smells really, really nice. And it's kind of sparkly too. Made of win in my opinion. So that's my little video of that this morning. Also going to be trying, as I said, the Lullaby Shampoo Bar. Um, again, that was from the Oxford Lush Exclusives range. I think the Lullaby Shampoo Bar was out quite a few years back. But, because um, I think I might have had one once before, but it was some time ago. And is it me or does that look like a Pokeball? This could just be that I'm completely obsessed with Pokemon, but to me it looks like a Pokeball. <laughs> yeah, just a little insight there. And also today, during my bath, just to show you my little range up here. These are my collection of Lush and Soap and Glory um, 
shower cream and shower gels. Obviously, let me turn this around so you can see them properly. Hang on. We have, of course, the Lord of Misrule, because this is just epic. You can get this, guys, in the Oxford Street Lush still. Just to let you know, if you happen to live in London, you can still get it there, lucky people. Can't seem to get it anywhere else because it's technically been discontinued. This little fella is quite unusual. I haven't seen him very much. This is the Twilight Shower Gel, which my camera is not focusing on. Hang on. There we are. This, initially, when I first started using this, I wasn't too keen on it. I didn't like the smell initially, but actually it's grown on me. It's kind of a lavendery, quite a herby smell. It's really quite nice, particularly before bed. It helps me sleep, so thank you, Lush, for that one. Um, he's also purple, so, you know, you can't go wrong with purple. And then we have from the Valentine's range. This is Prince Charming. This smells like Turkish delight, people. Oh my goodness, I am in love with this. I need to get a bigger bottle, but I think they might have stopped selling it, which is a bit of a shame. But um, might pop into Lush later on, so we'll see what there is, mainly because I need to pick up some shampoo, even though I have a shampoo bar. Hmm, excuses. But um, as you may know, I dyed my hair blonde recently, and of course Lush did the Daddy-O shampoo and conditioning bar, which is for blonde hair. So of course we've got to try that. And yes, some other things that are not from Lush, which are not very exciting. <laughs> um, what else can I show you? Nothing else in here at the moment. So I'm just gonna leave you with, how pretty does my bath look at the end with Mr. Metamorphosis, otherwise known as the Death Star Bath Ballistic. I quite like that. I just wanted to share that with you guys. I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel and I will talk to you all soon. Hopefully coming up later today will be a new recipe video. I'm not quite sure what it will be yet. Possibly a butternut squash risotto, possibly something else. But it has occurred to me that considering I started this channel as a recipe channel for budget vegans, I haven't done a lot of recipe videos. Hmm, that needs to change. So yes, um, hopefully later on today, a new video will be uploaded of one of my new vegan recipes. So please feel free to check back later and watch that. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.